Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a brand new video tutorial. Today in this tutorial we'll be using Blender and we'll be making my type version 1 of trees, uh, low poly trees. And there'll be a version 2 coming out soon. So, we want to delete the cube in the lamp. And I'll just start displaying my screen, my keys for you. So all my keys that are being pressed are down here. So I'm just going to set up a scene. So I'm just going to add a plane, scale it up. And then I'm going to go to add mesh cylinder. Now, if you haven't already got this, when you add your cylinder down here, it will say, um, look, if I go back, I'll go add mesh cylinder. Usually, in the vertices, it says something like 32. But, since we're making it a low poly tree, we're going to be making it 5 or 6, your choice. So, we're then going to just move it up. And we're then just going over here, and we're going to hide the plane. Now, we're going to go into edit mode, with this selected. We're going to go to view the front. View orthogonal mode there, and we'll put it on wireframe mode. So the first thing we want to do is we want to thin our shape out. So what I'm going to do is uh, just thin it up and thin it down. To top view, yep, that's why. So we've got a reasonably sized trunk here. So that's a decent size. A to deselect, and we're going to hit the B key on the keyboard, and we're just going to. Sorry, it's just. this a bit more. We can always um, decrease it. Something like that size. Then we're going to hit the B key and we're going to select the top vertices and then hit S. We're just, just going to shrink it down like so. Hitting A to deselect. So I'm very happy with that trunk, um, our tree trunk here. So I'm just going to exit um, wireframe mode and object and edit mode by hitting keys. Now it's a bit too pointy so I'm just going to go to a view front and um, we're just going to uh, yeah something like that. Okay now we're going to go to add mesh icosphere and we're just going to put it on top of our tree and we're going to make it large like so and then we're going to add a modifier. Um, we're going to add de a decimate modifier, and we're just going to lower it until it becomes a low poly like so. So I'm happy with that. Um, it's a bit too big, so just lower that down. Mm. Front. So that's one tree. Let's just add some materials. So I'm going to go to materials. Oh, I need to change cycles render, like so. I'm going to make a new material, I'll call this tree trunk. And of course, a moderate brown for our tree trunk. And then make a new one, call it leaves. And we're going to then just something like that. That's nice. Um, now we're going to join the two shapes together. So right click on our trunk here and then shift right click on our icosphere and hit control j instead we want to s start off with the icosphere so oh no sorry um make sure you apply the modifier before you do that so there we go there's one tree we can move that off to the side now the next tree we're going to make is a bit more complex. So we're going to go to add 
mesh cylinder. Again, ensure it has five or six vertices. You want to keep it consistent, and we're just going to scale that up like so. Ensure your Y axis is also scaled up because we can't see it in the front view. Like so. I'm just going to thin it out a bit more. Get out of this. There we go. Front. There we go. So now we're going to hit edit mode and wireframe mode. And again, we are going to instead of um, bringing in the point like so. We're going to hit Control R. It's Control R. Yeah. And now create a purple line over your shape. You have to hover over it. And that creates a um, cut in your shape. So we're going to do it one more time. You see the purple bar comes up. You want to click. And like so, place it. So just keep a view on what um, I'm doing. So then we're going to hit B and select the top vertices and scale those down. Hit A to select the whole shape and we're just going to expand it up. You can always shrink it um, whenever we like. So now we're going to exit wireframe mode, still staying in edit mode. We're going to select a side here. So I'm going to select that face. So change the face select node and we're going to set one of them. Then we're going to go to view, front, zoom in a bit, and we're going to hit the E key to extrude. Like so. And we're going to rotate it on the X axis. Y axis. And Let's just shrink that down a bit, point it up, then we can rotate. Okay, I'm happy with that. It's going to do the front again, just going to pull it in a bit. And we're then going to extrude it again, being the top. So that's one level of our tree, it's one branch. And we're going to go to select this face, go to view front. And we're going to extrude it, thinning it, drag it like so, hit rotate, make sure it's, we need to thin that a bit more, it's going to be quite a bony one. Let's just pull it up a bit more, push it across, and I'm happy with that. So, once we've got those, we're going to exit edit mode. And we want to add an icosphere again. We're going to move one across to here. Now, don't forget to add your modifier, decimate. So you want to hit triangulate and holding your left mouse button, move that down. Something around 0.3. Um, make sure it's attached on. And then we're going to go to front again and we're going to shift D. And move it across to around the same. And expand the size. Move it across so it's touching. Back into front mode. And I'm happy with that. Let's just go into edit mode quickly. And we're going to just ensure that we're in vertex select. I'm just going to refine the point of our tree a bit more. Okay, I'm happy with that. Or maybe it's a bit too much. Yeah. So, that's better. Okay, now we're going to go into our materials, ensure this is a trunk, and ensure those two, did I apply? And ensure those two are leaves, um, and then we're going to control J, and um, what do I do? Shift, control J to join, well, 
that apply? No. Make sure you apply your decimate um, modifier, otherwise it messes it up. So now we've made that tree. We can just move it along. Escape. And in wireframe mode, Y. Scale it down. Make sure it's similar size. And I can see right now it's a bit too small. In fact, I need to go back into edit mode. Um, let's just uh, let's just edit the wireframe, and we're going to expand the bottom of our trunk like so. Better. So there we have two low poly trees that we can um, do. So thanks very much for watching this tutorial. Let's um, unhide our plane here. And exit orthogonal mode and we've got two really nice trees so thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you in my next tutorial